When you hear the sound of thunder, don't you get too scared. Just grab your thunder buddies and say these magic words. F*** you, thunder! You can suck my dick. You can't give me thunder. You're just God's farts. I've taken Lori to dinner. You don't think she's going to be expecting something big, do you? It's been four years, Johnny. You and me have been together for 27 years. Where's my ring? Huh? Where's my ring? What are all my fuzzy fingers? Right. Come on! Knock it off! I'm just saying. That's my bad. I was sending a tweet. John! Hi, Thomas. How are you? Let me tell you about me so much fun. Baby, please ask Ted to move out so we can move on with our lives. I'm not that psyched to just, like, kick him out. Hey, you're home early. Who are these girls? Oh, my God, where are my manners? Laurie, this is Angelique, Heavenly, Shireen, and Sauvignon Blanc. I swear to God, her name is Sauvignon Blanc. Show you a Chevron cut. Teddy! Ted. Ted. Okay, so Ted, which is the feature film debut of Seth MacFarlane, the creator of Family Guy. Ted is the story of John Bennett, played by Mark Wahlberg, who as a child didn't have many friends, until one Christmas morning he received a teddy bear, which he later named Ted, had a wish for him to come to life, and so, a day later, Ted finally comes to life. He is a, pretty much a worldwide phenomenon. He's like the baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> As his mother said. 27 years later, Ted and John are pretty much best friends. They're slackers, smoking weed. John has a girlfriend, played by Mila Kunis, also Family Guy, famous voice as Meg. She wants him to kick out Ted, so to move on there with their lives, and John has pretty much a hard time struggling with it. Collaborating with me is April's on that, you already know him already, and a newcomer guest, Shane Seven. Or know, AKA Dragoon XLS. On Xbox Live, of course. We saw this last night at the midnight screening, and so we gotta say, wow. this was the funniest comedy of the year. Yes. Indeed, I haven't found anything that funny in a long time, and actually. I, yeah, yeah, I when it, in terms of movies, that is. Oh, right. absolutely. Like, I haven't laughed so hard at a film since Jackass 3D. Where is they seen this movie that involves a cameo? I'm not gonna say which. It's from a very well-known TV show way back then. And there was a CG scene in which you guys heard me. I had this long, long, this loud laugh. Then I started just dying laughing. I can't spoil what happens, but there it's, just... it's not He-Man, people. No, it's not. It's not. It's not He-Man, but it is not something. There's absolutely no flaws with it. It wasn't because they kept you entertained for the whole oh, entire the whole entire thing. There was no dull moments. Whatsoever. That's exactly what a movie should be. Exactly, especially in comedy. Especially. It's a bromance versus romance subplot. Although it's familiar, Seth found it keeps it fresh because of the script. And let right. me tell you guys right now, it's very well written. Every single line that that Ted has shining out of his mouth is just comedic gold. It yes. really is. And in the last minutes, an event happens, and I'm Ted's trying to get away from these people, and there's this line that he spouts out towards this little kid. Oh yeah, it's this oh. little, it's this little fat kid, right, that really just wants this yes. teddy bear, and what he says. He, this. he holds a tire iron to his face. He's like, back off, Susan Boyle. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I lost it. I thought that was just Every, great. Everybody was just laughing there, you know. It, it was so <laughs> nice for the whole thing, because we definitely want you to see this. We oh highly recommend God. this. There is not a single dull moment. This movie is consistently funny throughout. Seth MacFarlane, he, is, he has a lot of talent. His voice in this one it reminds me of Peter Griffin if, if he was more of like a Boston person. <laughs> you know yeah. what's really funny? What's that? He actually brought up the fact that what Ted was singing karaoke. Hey, I don't sound like Peter Griffin. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> in terms of acting, every single person does an excellent job. Mark Wahlberg, yes. he's an excellent actor. Mila Kunis, funny as hell. Very. And uh, sexy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she's not uh, hard to look at. That's something we can all agree on. Yeah, she's not hard to look at at all. Joe yeah. McHale, this was his comeback over Spy Kids 4. Thank you. <laughs> all the cameos. There's a cameo, that, which was really unexpected from, from the party scene in that movie. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. All the jokes are absolutely funny. In terms of comedy, this is a funny... Th no, no, this isn't funny. This is just... It's not hilarious. It's like... It's I, something even more than just hilarious. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a comedic... It's like comedic gold. Masterpiece. It is. A a in is terms a of comedy, it is a masterpiece. Yeah, it's the cinematography in the movie was great. All the music was great. I wouldn't be surprised if it was composed by Seth MacFarlane because he is a musician himself. Hmm. But he is? Yeah, he's a musician. Yeah, he, yeah, he made his own album. What actually. doesn't he do? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Head is own? absolutely whole. <laughs> 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 I bet even he can make that funny. Exactly. <laughs> Within the first five minutes of this movie, 
you knew it was gonna have There was laughs all around. When it comes to Seth MacFarlane's brand of humor, his humor be consists of making fun of everybody. Like, there's not a person he does not make fun of. Yeah, exactly. Which I love. Overall, Ted, we can agree for all of us, it is one of the best comedies of the year and the best comedy of the year so far. It's one of my favorite films of the year so far. I thought Seth MacFarlane did a fantastic job for his feature oh, film debut. And that's rare for directors for the stuff. So, we're all going to give this movie a 5 out of 5 stars. 5. Five. On our last level of which director you thought gave an amazing directorial debut. What's your favorite Family Guy episode? Check out their channels, A Puzzle on A's channel. Got some great content in there. Shane's channel, although he's going to make a new one very yeah, soon. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a uh, Let's Play, hopefully. And I will see you guys next time. Subscribe. Oh, seriously, do it. Do it. Do it.